so in this class we will see the development of the portal way portal way already we have seen the gross anatomy of the portal way you try to watch this gross anatomy of the portal way then it will be easy for you to understand the development of the portal way to start with the development of the portal vein there are three pairs of veins during embryonic development vitelline veins which carry the moderately oxygenated blood from the yolk sac umbilical veins which carry the oxygenated blood from the placenta cardinal veins which carry the blood from the body wall so these are the three pairs of the veins in this vitelline veins and umbilical veins will be called as visceral veins and cardinal veins will be called as somatic veins this visceral veins open in the floor of the sinus venosus and the cardinal veins open in the horn of the sinus venosus this again we have seen in the development of the cardiovascular system in three parts you try to watch the three parts of the cardiovascular system development then you will will be it will be easy for you to understand the development of the pharyngeal arch arteries or the veins of the body so now we will start with the development of the portal vein portal vein develops by the right and left vitelline veins to start with right and left vitelline veins run headwards on each side of the primitive duodenum are you seeing in the image on each side of the primitive duodenum right and left vitelline veins which is medial umbilical veins are lateral it run through the septum transversum to open into the floor of the sinus venosus now the hepatic bud has started developing in the septum transversum so by this the vitelline veins are divided into three parts by the liver development what will be the parts liver is separating the three parts so what are the parts are the infrahepatic part intrahepatic part and suprahepatic parts so these three parts so in this part which part will give rise to portal vein do you think portal vein enters the liver related to duodenum and pancreas so which part infrahepatic parts so that part is now important for our development of the portal vein so you just see again the same duodenum is in the middle on each side right and left vitelline veins are present they are connected by three anastomoses so that to make the figure of eight in this cranial and caudal are the ventral anastomoses and middle dorsal anastomoses that green color veins represent the splenic vein and the superior mesenteric veins join at the left end of the middle dorsal anastomoses so now i think you can imagine how this portal vein will be formed yes this is how in the left side three dorsal an three anastomoses two ventral and one dorsal anastomoses splenic and superior mesenteric veins at the left end of the middle dorsal anastomoses now you see in the right side image what are all the parts that have been observed or that have been regressed so that is how now the portal vein is formed so what are the parts which give rise to portal vein left vitelline vein after the joining of the splenic and the superior mesenteric veins middle dorsal anastomoses right vitelline vein up to the cranial ventral anastomoses then what about that cranial ventral anastomoses and remaining right and left vitelline veins will give rise to 
can anyone guess they are reaching the liver so they will give rise to the branches of the portal vein middle dorsal anastomosis how we can remember is so the duodenum will rotate and in that curve what will be the organ formed will be the pancreas so that the portal vein will be in the behind the neck of the pancreas so we have to remember middle dorsal anastomosis will give rise to the portal vein so same this right and left vit vitelline vein undergoes changes forms the portal vein it is formed by three components left vitelline vein between the entry of the superior and mesenteric and splenic veins the middle dorsal anastomosis right vitelline vein between the dorsal anastomosis and the cranial ventral anastomosis so these three points students should remember first they should remember portal vein means vitelline veins which part of vitelline veins infrahepatic parts of vitelline veins then they have to think of the anastomosis then how to remember the portal vein is behind the neck of pancreas so they have to remember middle dorsal anastomosis adjoining left vitelline vein and the adjoining right vitelline vein so then the branches of portal vein we will see right branch of portal vein is formed by the right vitelline vein cephalic to the cranial anastomosis and left branch of portal vein is that cephalic ventral anastomosis and the left vitelline vein proximal to that that's why in the adult portal vein left branch of portal vein is longer because it is formed by the one ventral anastomosis and by the left vitelline vein i think now you should have understood and it is easy to remember infrahepatic parts of the portal vein sorry infrahepatic parts of the vitelline veins and the middle dorsal anastomosis and the adjoining left and right vitelline veins the cephalic cranial anastomosis and the adjoining right and left vitelline veins will give rise to the branches of the portal vein i think you should have understood the development of the portal vein you will see the development of the inferior vena cava in the next class